Hello friends! Today's video will be dedicated to a quite important issue we all ponder about before making our pet barren. Will neutering or spaying our dogs have a serious impact on their behavior? Bear with me to find a rather shocking answer to this question just in a minute. Let's first clarify what the neutering spaying the dog mean. Uterine is the surgical removal of the organs that produce sexual hormones. For female dogs, it's the ovaries and for male dogs, the testicles. The uterus is frequently resected in females as well. Hence, for female dogs, the procedure is more invasive. The level of sexual hormones declines over time, eventually becoming very low and constant. There are a few reasons why dogs are neutered. The obvious one, of course, is to eliminate the undesired pregnancy and the chance to produce even more stray dogs on our streets. That was the case with my female carne corsa, Buffy. After being diagnosed with diabetes, we had to spay her to let insulin do its work because we had trouble getting sugar levels down. It was a risky decision, but with the proper treatment received, Buffy began her recovery and we've got her glucose level under control. There are less dramatic reasons for neutering as well. Castrating or spaying your dog, as too many veterinarians claim, may reduce unwanted behavior, such as humping or aggression, decrease obsessive urination for both sexes, and the urge for roaming in search of a partner. But I was quite surprised to find out how far we are from the objective truths. I came across those few studies based on the CBARQ method, which stands for Canine Behavioral Assessment and Research Questionnaire. In short, this method relies upon the data provided by the dog's owners asked to give an answer to the long list of questions about their pets. If you want to see the full name of the studies I'm going to talk about, check it out in the description below. The first two studies analyzed the effects of neutering spaying on behavior in dogs of both sexes. The recent 2018 study is concentrated on male dogs and the behavioral changes caused by neutering in correlation to the age of the dog. The first two studies collected data from nearly 60,000 dog owners, so it must be well-represented research. The results of these two studies are as follows. First, the level of aggression for both sexes increased from 20% to twice as much. Besides, female dogs showed more signs of aggression if the procedure was done before the one year of age. 2. About 30% increase in fearfulness for both sexes. 3. Approximately 32% grows to the touch sensitivity. 4. Nearly 8% percent higher level of excitability. Only one definitely positive outcome is much fewer cases of urine milking to 67 percent less. Almost 10,000 male dogs were represented in the recent research conducted by the group of scientists of the Sydney School of Veterinary Science at the University of Sydney. This study revealed a bit more positive results, such as less urine milking, decreased signs of separation anxiety, high responsiveness to the summoning command, dogs brought thrown items more often than not. Still, the negative outcomes are this. More aggression towards strangers, unfamiliar female dogs and small animals. Same as in previous two studies, the younger the dog is neutered, the stronger deviation from the normal more fear reactions to noises in new situations towards unfamiliar kids, to other dogs' aggression, even those that similar by size and age, after being suddenly faced with unfamiliar objects at the veterinarian checkups or while grooming. Same as before, those reactions worsen for younger dogs. Above all, neutered males more often ate excrements, rolled in the smelly stuff, showed less resistance to food stealing, were more excited or alarmed than necessary, or showed obsessive leaking. Neutered dogs were generally less trainable than those that were not neutered. That's what science told us about a change in dog behavior after neutering. 
I may only wonder why there is still such a high level of neutered dogs in the US, up to 83% for both sexes. Those dogs may not produce offspring, but due to behavioral changes, the risk for them to be abandoned become higher. Besides, neutered stray dogs, due to the same problems, are less likely to be adopted. From a personal experience, my dog was saved thanks to the skillful treatment and surgery performed in time. Buffy was about 6 years of age then and Spain saved her next 6 years of life. Whether you to your dog or not is totally up to the pet owner to decide, but if your motive in neutering Spain your pet is more of a convenience matter, I suggest weighing all pros and cons carefully, especially if take to account possible health issues, more about this in the next weeks. I risk sounding like a nerd, but when we get the dog into our lives, the best we can do for them is to accept their nature as it is. After that, we may only work on eliminating unwanted behavior through classical methods we all seem to know – training, exercises, socialization and constant vigilance. I hope this video helped you to make things clearer. Thank you for watching and see you soon!